today on Love is on the Air. A shocking engagement with a twist no one saw coming. Will you marry me? <laughs> <sighs> I've got uh, something big to tell you. Plus, game show legend Bob Eubank shares his memories hosting the Newlywed Game with nearly 16,000 couples in love. Where's the strangest, most unusual place the two of you ever made whoopee? But that's not what happened. Then, we're putting two couples to the test on how well they know their partner. Who's more likely to join the Mile High Club? Hey! And later, the number one thing that you need to know before you say I love you is that's all today on Love is on the Air. Love is on the Air. Love is on the Air. If it's okay with you, I'm going to play the part of Jeff Sutton. And that would make me Miss Charity Bailey. And today we are celebrating all things love mm. as we gear up. I, 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 don't make that face. We're gearing up for Valentine's Day, and it's yeah. just a few days away. Yeah, I'm for, excited. I, I just want for clarification, not a big fan of Valentine's Day. I'm gonna shoot oh you straight. Goodness. There's all this chocolate. Uh, and what's my, the problem with chocolate? Hello. And then my wife is like, Jeff, I love you, Jeff, I love you, you're so amazing. Oh, yes. being loved on is such a problem. No, you know what? I, I, on second thought, it's not a bad thing. I'm gonna retract my initial okay. statement. I'm in. I'm in on Valentine's Day this year. Uh, you I'm better be, or else I was gonna have to trade you out for a different co-host. Cause I mean, Ooh. who doesn't Ooh. like chocolate, baby? Whoa, that's harsh. <laughs> <laughs> well, as far as celebrations mm -hmm. yeah. go and love goes, like I said, Valentine's Day is one of my favorites. Cupid is always in high gear, and it's a good time. Uh, speaking of a good time. Mm -hmm. You're married. Boom. That's what that's that's what that indicates yeah, right there. That nice band there. How'd you meet your wife? Classic stalker story. Okay. <laughs> and by that I mean she's stalking me. Oh, yeah. give me a break. No, so she's like, beautiful. I, she is beautiful. That that is the definition of marrying up right there. I met her uh, at the company Christmas party. It was just so cliche. I know it's terrible. And I, I was like, oh, oh. my my go-to move was I'll show you a magic trick. Oh, and goodness. she fell for it. And that's when I knew. I'm gonna marry her tomorrow. Yeah, B. Good, good luck topping that one. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Well, I am queen clumsy, so I have a few first date mishaps. You know, yeah. I'm single and still mingling, but I've had a few, you know. Go nice ahead, give me one. You say you keep saying pies. you have a few, but. Okay, so one fella that I really, 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 really liked, he was really handsome, you know, tall, dark, mm -hmm. and handsome, and southern with a deep voice. and. I was so happy that we were finally going out after I gave him the runaround. And I figured I was gonna be pretty for him. Ladies, you know how it is. Like, you try to put on your lashes and get all dolled up. And so he's knocking at the door and I'm trying to put the lash on and the lash glue spills. And also it wasn't regular lash glue. My sisters know what I'm talking about. You can use like weave glue, but it's like super hold. Yeah. And then my eye was like, kind of like stuck. And he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I just wanted to be pretty for you. But it doesn't stop there. You went full pirate. <laughs> So go, go eye patch and I, commit to it. I was so embarrassed. But then after that, I have been embarrassed since. I've stepped in puddles. I've over poured champagne and made it go all over the table. I've tripped. I've fallen. You name it, I've done it. it whatever. Well, you know, it's Valentine's Day. Yeah. I'll tell you, though, what, what the, the ultimate Valentine's Day experience is, is to get to play Cupid. And that's exactly what I got to do when I got to help out one of my friends pull off this really awesome, great romantic surprise. Check it out. Tina and I am proposing to my boyfriend Will. We've been dating for five years and he's the one thing in my future that I'm definitely certain about. So I'm ready to ask him. The botanical garden is so special to us because I always say Will is a flower and he loves being out in the garden. It's one of our favorite dates. It was our first date. We go here every year especially to see the Christmas lights. So it's my favorite thing. So it's the best of both worlds for us. Right now, we're at the Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden. Will thinks he's shooting a TV show called Southern Green Thumbs. Also, what Will has no idea is that his girlfriend Tina is here, and she's about to surprise him with something huge. Right now, Will thinks I'm at work. Um, initially, I told him I had the day off so I could come with him to a big interview for the garden show. But uh, we switched things around because I really wanted to surprise him, surprise him with the ring. I am super nervous um, that I'm going to blunder my words and I have this whole little spiel prepared and we'll see what, what, what comes out of my mouth. <laughs> hey, 
everybody. Welcome to a very special edition of Southern Green Thumb. We're hanging out all day here at the Daniel Stowe Botanical Gardens and we are very lucky to have a local green thumber with us. Will, is this something that, I, I, I'm assuming that you have a girlfriend. It's gotta be super helpful to know your way around the flowers during Valentine's Day. Oh yeah. What's your yeah. girlfriend think of all this? I've got that made there, so that's, that's definitely one of the reasons she loves me. Was, uh, I was different loving the flowers and I always had them on deck to give to her, so. Does she share the same uh, passion as you do? Well, she's uh, less about getting her hands dirty and more about to be in the admirer. So I'm the master gardener and she's the master admirer. Yeah. So she's there to help me along the way. It's not that she just loves them too, right? <laughs> well, hello, Tina. Are you wondering why I'm here? Well. <laughs> yes. Well, I brought you here. This is one of our favorite places. We've been here, it's my favorite date that we go on every year. And it's a beautiful garden, and you are a flower, so you belong in a garden. But I also wanted to ask if you remember when we first started dating, and we weren't really official yet. And I wanted to tell you I love you so bad, but I felt like I was going to explode if I didn't get it out. So you wrote me a little letter instead, <laughs> yes. telling me that you thought you loved me. <laughs> so I wrote you a letter, yes, because I was too nervous to tell you in person. Um, well, now I am not afraid to tell you that. I tell you every day that I love you. So I just want to tell you thank you. And then also to ask if you would say yes to getting upgraded from boyfriend to oh. being my husband. <laughs> and will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta take a second to answer this. I've got uh, something big to tell you here too. What? No, yeah, no, no what do you mean take a second? First of all, see, Tina put her heart on the line and he gonna say, give me a second. No, we got we gonna have to fight yeah. him. That's well, what's gonna I, happen. I know, I know you've never seen this before, and if you think you have an idea of what's coming no! up, you have no idea what's happening. Oh my god! And I'll tell you why you have no idea. Wait? Because when we were there shooting this, we had no idea what was happening. I'm shaking, Jeff. Look at I'm like, shaking, and I, I, I was there. Okay. I was there. Trust me, <sighs> you aren't gonna want to miss this. When we come back, will Tina get the oh answer she's expecting? I need to know. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Plus, game show legend Bob Eubanks joins us. But first, here are the top five love songs you, the viewers, have been voting on. The results and so much more when we come back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Love is on the air. <laughs> Well, y'all voted on the top five love songs and we've got the results. The number one love song is Can't Get Enough by Barry White. No I, surprise. Yeah, no I love surprise. that song. Can't no get surprise. enough of your love, babe. Not at all. I can't get enough of this show. Uh, because I'm on the edge of my seat, quite literally, because yes, I have not seen the rest of this proposal, and all the viewers at home and I want to see what's going to happen next. Well, Hello, you're, I you're told you I was shaking. Because I know what happens. First of all, welcome back to Love is on the Air. Joining us right now is <laughs> Tina. Now, Tina just proposed to her longtime boyfriend, and as you saw, there was a huge pause. Tina, what yeah. went through your mind when he took a step back and said, I have to think about this? because we didn't know that was coming. I can't imagine what was going through your head. Uh, first, I was very upset um, because, you know, we've been dating for five years, so I expected an immediate yes. Girl, me too! So, I was uh, mad at that. Like, don't be thinking about it. Yeah, it was so a, uh, there was a lot going through my mind, but also, like, a blank as well, like, black screen in my mind, but also a lot of feelings. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I have a lot of feelings just watching it. I mean, how long have you been planning this proposal? Um, a little before Christmas, so about a month, like a lot of effort. I mean, we've talked about our future a ton, so yeah. But as a woman, like, m most women will not pop the question. So Yeah, like, so that's my thought too, right? I'm doing it on TV. <laughs> and I think I was just like, hey, I'm doing it on TV. I don't, he didn't immediately say yes. So my heart was 
very hurt in that moment. Girl, I'll fight with you if we don't see the rest of this All video right. and it'll turn out well, the way I, I want it to. As you guys saw, things took a little bit of a curveball. Let's see how this thing plays out. All right, let's go. You supported me through some really big moments, all of my meltdowns in school. So I just wanted to tell you thank you. And then also to ask if you would say yes to getting upgraded from boyfriend to uh. being my <laughs> husband. And will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta take a second to answer this. <laughs> I've got uh, something big to tell you here, too. What? You know, some weeks ago, I delivered the dowry to mommy and daddy and asked for permission what? to marry you. <laughs> so the table, the plant table, was my dowry, and I have already asked mommy and daddy, and I have the blessing. So I have an even bigger surprise because I had a gut feeling today it wasn't necessarily about the business. What? Tina Tang, my roll dog, my best friend, and my forever love. <laughs> Will you marry me? Yes, if you marry me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll always believe now Show me a place We've never seen where we could all belong When I saw Tina, it was crazy. I was shaking, nervous, happy, excited, all of the above. And it was a big realization of this was not exactly what I came here for, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> Tina would be a sunflower, because she was the OG number one. <laughs> Will would be a sunflower, because he's my support system. Sunflowers are also survivors. They survive through so much weather, drought, all of the things, and they, despite all of that, they stand super tall and take care of everything else around them. Couch with Tina is our star. Thank you. Oh, and you, Thank you, big dog. Ah! Good to see you guys again. Congratulations. You, you pulled the switcheroo for real because I was ready to fight you. I was going to come find you, Chad. I was ready to fight. I mean, none of us saw it coming. I have to, uh, I'm just going to throw it out there. How long were you carrying that ring in your boot? I mean, were you, you were ready to go no matter what, because like I said, none of us knew that this was happening. So I, I, do you just carry it in your boot all the time? For a while there I was. But, <laughs> just like ready know, to go. It, it was the holidays, we were around family, we had a couple of Christmas other good lights. opportunities, yeah. but. You know, that was the moment. I couldn't have waited till a better jam. Yeah, well, they no. say if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. You was ready, child. <laughs> Girl, let me see that ring. Come on, bling, bling. Every oh, time I come wow. around your city. <laughs> and I do everything with my left hand. Because you're like, uh, I'm going to need a drink. Uh, it's over there, over there. Yeah. All right, so it was obviously an emotional roller coaster. How did you feel, like, you know, were you able to rebound? Did you see it coming? I did not. I totally thought I was just beating him to the chase. So I also in that moment, I was very shocked. Like I don't think it processed until the, like the very end of that day. Yeah, it was so sweet though. You were both able to exchange the rings. You have so many, uh, like you said, emotions. And I was sitting here nervous, so I can imagine. <laughs> but y'all do a lot of writing. You mentioned saying I love you in the letters and you, you too have kept so many of the letters. Oh, yes. You're yeah. just a romantic, huh? That's how I asked him to be my boyfriend originally, was oh, I wrote him wait, a letter. Oh, you the question for the boyfriend? Too? Yes, because I, I was, I was too nervous to do shoot, it in shoot, person. Shoot, shoot. They say you miss 100% <laughs> of the shots, you do not shoot. She got her <laughs> man, child. <laughs> uh, I mean, how great is it that, I'm you know, seeing this now, that, you know, I mean, obviously mm -hmm. you were in the moment, but having to be able to see it now, Will, what do you think? 
She is a star. <laughs> yes, she is. I am surprised at how good she sounded and how bad I sounded beside <laughs> no, her. Y'all <you're> right. <laughs> are so sweet. I love you. See, I told you I love Valentine's yeah. Day. There's no and snot I'm keeping on that. The, That's okay. Yeah. It's you fine. There's tears on it instead. Well, you know what, guys? For giving us such an awesome surprise, we're going to give you a surprise. Every wedding needs a honeymoon, and thanks to our friends at Starvist Alive, we're sending you on a week-long cruise to New Orleans and Cosimo, Mexico. Tina and Will, let the good times roll on the Big Easy Cruise 2023. Soak up the music, the food, and the good vibes. You'll set sail from Fort Lauderdale aboard Holland America Line's New Amsterdam as you make your way to New Orleans and Cozumel while enjoying multiple days at sea in between. Star Vista Live is a leader in luxury themed music cruises, combining the expertise of Time Live with best in class onboard production. With over eight themed cruises, Star Vista Live offers something for everyone. Congrats to our soon to be newlyweds. Oh, congratulations, Thank you. guys. It's much Thank deserved. You so much. Why don't you guys have fun? Best of luck. And speaking of newlyweds, when we return, game show legend Bob Eubanks is joining us. Plus, later, we're going to play our own love themed game show. And we're going to have couples go head to head. So grab your mate and play along with us. But first, here are the top five wedding movies you, the viewers, have been voting on. The results and much more when Love is on the Air returns right after this. You voted on the top five wedding movies and we've got the results. The number one wedding movie is... Wedding Crashers. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. I knew it. Timeless right. classic. Yeah, Time you win this classic. round. But I was really pulling for Wedding Singer. I love that movie. You it's fun. You were halfway there. Okay, you were halfway okay. there. <laughs> we're back. This is Love is on the Air. I'm still Jeff Sutphin. And I'm still Miss Charity Bailey. And Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And our next guest, well, he is a TV icon who knows a thing or two or three or four about love and couples. That's because he saw nearly 16,000 of them play the newlywed game over his five decades of hosting this iconic game show. Joining us now from his Hollywood home is the one, the only, Mr. Bob Eubanks. Welcome yeah. to the show, Bob. Hey. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. I forgot Valentine's Day is close, isn't it? What it do you is. Mean you forgot. Oh, I'm You're just like the teasing. I'm only teasing. Yep. I did the newlywed <laughs> game. I had a lot of fun, and I've got some funny stories if you want to hear them. I would love to, because I, I, that's what I was saying earlier. I said, I don't think there's anybody that's more qualified to talk about love than, than Bob. So give us, give us the juice. What, when you think of the most shocking, most surprising answers you've ever been given well, on the newlywed game, what were they? Let me give you a couple. We had, uh, we put the show together and we had to show it to the big guys in New York. So they flew out and we did a run through for them and uh, no cameras. But couple number one was an unknown comedian named Dom DeLuise and his wife. But what sold the show? Now remember, this is 1966, I think. There was a cute little girl down at the end. I said, what's your favorite <laughs> nickname for your husband? She said, Numb Nuts. <laughs> and they got up, went upstairs, and bought the show without a pilot. What do you think about that? <laughs> If you didn't get an immediate, like, 20-season pickup just from that answer alone, I don't know what else gets the job done. Uh, me either. Now, Bob, you started hosting the show in 1966, and you hosted it for five decades. What's the secret to the show's success, the secret sauce, if you will? Well, Newlywed Game was just a fun game, but I learned a great deal. Uh, I remember one time I got a call from a lady, and she said, uh, I saw my husband with a woman on the newlywed game. Can you imagine? Oh. This jerk went on the newlywed game, faked the marriage license with his mistress, for crying out loud. <laughs> oh my goodness, the nerve. Did you call him out, Bob, or you let him uh, stay No, I didn't say anything. And then one time I asked a lady, I said, uh, the first time you and your husband had a romantic session, what do you remember about it? He said, she said, well, it wasn't long enough. <laughs> oh, Bob, you got Ooh. all the tea from everybody. Wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. Uh, and, you know, the, the famous one enough, is, where's the strangest, most unusual place the two of you ever made whoopee? You asking 
Yeah. I, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a story that says, well, that she used the B word in the, but that's not what happened. She used the yeah, A word, if ah, you can believe that. Okay. And so, because I'd always, I, I'd always heard that, like that, that story wasn't true or it was true, no. and and so having you here to clarify the butt that, Bob you know, didn't happen, we're, but we're the putting other it one to did. bed. We're yeah. putting it to bed. This is straight from the source here. Bob, as someone who has seen tens of thousands of couples come through the newlywed game, uh, and you've been married yourself for a long time, what's some piece of advice that you could give to any couples out there, whether they're new couples or longtime married couples? Well, I happen to think that uh, criticism is, is the worst thing that can happen to a, a married couple. I think we need to be very careful about criticism. And I watch the couples, and what I've learned is that people don't want to know about you. They want you to know about them. Mm -hmm. And so I would ask a question to a couple, and if I got a funny answer, I would look at the other three couples, and I could tell immediately where I'm going to get the next funny answer. I learned to read their body structures when I would ask questions. Uh, one time I did a, in fact, the last newlywed I ever did, we used some celebs and Monty Hall. Remember Monty Hall? The game oh, show yeah. guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, guess what happened to him? He got stuck in the bathtub in New York and they had to call 911 to get him out. I thought oh. that was pretty funny. <laughs> okay. But, <man. laughs> All right. <laughs> Just don't settle for second best. That's all I can tell you. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Good we advice. the best, That's right? good advice. I wish my wife got a hold of that one before. I wouldn't be married if she had talked to you before, because I'm definitely second best. So, Bob, I do hear uh, that you have some really cool things coming up and that you're hosting the Newlywed Game and many other game shows in a live touring game show. Tell us about it. Well, we do a thing called Hollywood's Greatest Game Shows, or, uh, uh, yeah, Hollywood's Greatest Game Shows. And we play nine different games. And uh, we have so much fun. And everybody that comes on the stage wins a prize. And at the end, someone has a chance to win a million dollars. Well, Bob, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. This is inspiring. Bob has actually inspired me. Uh -oh. We need to do our own love-based game show oh, right now. That'll be I'll fun. Be okay, okay. <laughs> like you mean right now. Right now. Okay, well, I guess Got we're the playing camera. a game when love is on the air returns. <laughs> Plus, later from Bravo's hit show, Love Match Atlanta, <laughs> Mean Clark will share her advice <laughs> on what you need to know before you say, I love you. But first, here are the top five honeymoon destinations that y'all have been voting on. The results and much more when love is on the air continues right after this. <laughs> Y'all voted on the top five honeymoon destinations and we've got the results. The number one destination is, drum roll please. <laughs> Not any better. Uh, Hawaii. And that is an amazing place. It's so romantic. Took a train there once, wouldn't recommend it. Oh my. It's time to play everybody's favorite Valentine's Day game show. Pillow Talk! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Playing today are two couples from our very own Bay Hackle Entertainment family from WCCB's nightly news here in Charlotte. It's Morgan Fogarty and her husband, Handsome Dan, also known as Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be going up against Bay Hackle Entertainment's on-air host, Greg Rolls, and his beautiful wife, Brandy. Charity, let's meet these contestants. Yeah, well, before we meet them, I just want to let you know that it is on. Ooh, you started okay. something? Yes. You're not going to be able ready. to finish. I will ready. finish. It. We're ready, uh, and you've been ready for a long time. I'm ready. Yes, tell me how long have y'all been married? 30 years. Oh, off the top, just, answering questions correctly. It's <laughs> tattooed right there. Oh. This is it. <laughs> Good for you. And what attracted you to your boo of 30 years? The moneymaker. Oh, <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> All right. Uh, when was when was the last time Jeremy did something romantic for you? Oh wow, probably four thousand years ago. <laughs> Ooh, so you guys have been married a beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1842. <laughs> yeah. And how long how long have you guys been married? Fifteen years. Fifteen years. But well, we got more Blue time. On but who's counting? Am I? I don't even know why we're using these. These aren't even plugged in. These aren't even plugged in. 
<laughs> My mic is always plugged in. All right. You hey, guys, oh. the game is simple. I'm going to ask you a question. All you got to do is use your pillows okay. to answer. Right. If you get the answer correct, then you get the point. At the end of the game, the couple with the most points wins the game. Right. You're probably saying, Jeff, what's up for grabs? That's a good question, contestant. Tonight's grand prize winners get dinner for two at Fat Rick's Pizza Garden and a year's <laughs> supply of Mitch's mustard. That's You're a lot of mustard. Yeah. <laughs> I love Mitch's mustard. Yeah, we got we this. this. We got right. this. We're going to ease into this okay. with a simple right. question. We don't need anyone pulling any game show muscles. Okay, everyone back to back. Here back we to go. Back, back okay. to back. All right. Your first question is, who's better at keeping secrets? Who's better at keeping secrets? Oh. Lock in your answer. Oh. Go ahead. All right, and let's see what you got. <laughs> oh! Yeah, yes! We, we got, got a point, point over there. there. We got a point. 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 I yes, think there's sorry. some some problems over here already. <laughs> Secrets revealed. Okay. Yeah. Question one. Not us. Okay. okay. We're okay. doing well. Right. That's what happens when it. we've been married for thirty years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's uh, go back to back. Back to back. Okay. okay. All right. And the question is, who made the first move? Oh my gosh. Ready? <laughs> steady? Oh. Turn it around. Let's see what you got. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> The board. Oh, oh. Just like that. <laughs> oh, and also that, that, that question was worth 100 points. So we're way ahead. Okay, right. here's your next question back to back. Here we go. Okay. Who's more likely to get a tattoo of the other one on in a heart? Who's more likely to get a tattoo of the other person's name in their heart? Let's see the answers. Winner over here, and we got a nice winner. Yes. All right, and that one was worth 102 points. So, boom. We're... <laughs> <laughs> my charity's math is a tie score. All right, here's your next question. Drum back roll. to back. Here we go. Let's back go. Uh, we're now getting a little, All right. you know, sexy. who's more likely to sext? Who's more wow. likely to sext? I don't what? even know if that's a real word. It is okay. Um... Don't yell at oh me. Oh my God. All right, let's uh, see the answers. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, Boom! Geez. I'm, three points. Points. I'm yeah. hoping for it to happen now. <laughs> That's all right. We'll craft him a nice little text and tell him he's moving out and we get his game. Right. Right. Not that we oh, Here's the hoping. She got receipts. She right. said she right. got proof of the text oh. message. So by your account, it's still a high let's score? Yeah, yeah. All, right. All, right. all right. Back to back, everybody. Okay. Okay. Next question. All right. Man, we this are next question. 30 years okay. of paying off. I can yeah. <laughs> well, oh, okay. Well, the next question is, Who's more likely to join the Mile High Club? That was your question. Right? You wanted, that's, that's all charity. Charity? You that's all charity. Girl. That's all charity. Yeah, lock, that let's lock in those answers. Girl. Yeah, I yeah, am. Okay. Okay. <laughs> let's see him. Let's see him. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving everybody a high five for that one. Boom, 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 boom. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's hurry this up. We have a flight after the show. The follow up game show to this is argument in the car on the way home. All right, here's your next I question. Like the no. <laughs> All right, we're going uh, back to back. Okay. Here we go. Here's okay. your next right. one. Um, who do you think could go longer without brushing their teeth? Oh. Oh, I don't like the way you said oh. that. Oh, man. Okay, okay. go oh. ahead. And let's see him. <laughs> oh, 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 girls? What is going on? Oh. We have some pretty boys. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Just yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, my gosh. Well, you know what? I'm a little... survivor. I'm a <laughs> survivor. Yeah. Not me. Wait no. a minute. Okay, well, now I'm going to have to ask this next question. Now that I know the ladies ain't brushing their teeth, back to back. Come on. Oh, the next back question, back. yeah. That's why uh, we got a sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's more likely to hold off on intimacy? And if the ladies ain't brushing their breath, then I don't know, fellas. <laughs> All, All right, right, let's see the answers. This one's gonna get dicey. Ah! <laughs> nice job. You know what? It, it should have been me because you don't brush your teeth. So. <laughs> Morgan, you you hit him hard, sis. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, if you need help, just blink twice like this, okay? <laughs> All right, back okay. to back. Here's oh, your next gosh. question. It's getting harder. Oh. Okay, who's more likely to hide a bad habit from the other one? Who's more likely to hide a bad habit from the other one? All right, let's see the answers for the tiebreaker. 
Lock it in. Lock it. Oh! All right. Well, this is perfect. This is perfect. We got. I know something about you, Jay. I know. I feel very exposed. But now I want to know about We got a tie game. Okay. So it's time for our final question. Oh, come on, y'all. You know it's the final question because I just said it. <laughs> also. There's music that's indicating that this is where it gets serious. Fingers crossed. Now, you've all popped the question before because you're married, and that's a play on words. This decides the winner, y'all. <laughs> it's time for you to pop the question. Inside this balloon is your final question. Pick a balloon and pop it. All right. Jerry, you take that one. Pass this along. All righty. I'm going to find that. Here you go. Not as right. flexible as I'd like to be. Am I doing this now? Yeah, uh -huh. right. ready, steady, go. Woo! <laughs> All righty. Okay, here you go. Okay. All right. Your final back question is back to back, okay. back to back. Oh. Who's more likely to say, gosh, you're right. What was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see it. Yeah! <laughs> she got that nice habits and don't brush her teeth, but All she right, will. Guys. <laughs> But I Keep will <laughs> apologize. Greg, Brandy, pressure's on. Okay, all right, all right here we go. Here Let's we go. go. Who's more likely to say we should empty the bank account and get an RV? <laughs> Road trip. Ready? Real. All right, let's, let's see the go. answer. Turn it around. Oh. 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 Come on, team. Winner, you know winner, just chicken and ginger. <laughs> I'll tell you what, everybody wins here. You want to know why? Because when you're in love, everybody oh, wins. for everybody. Woo. <laughs> and a double side for this team. All right, when Love is on the Air continues from Bravo's Love Match Atlanta, Mean Clark joins us to reveal the five things you need to know about your partner before saying, I love you. But first, here are the top five movie kisses you have been voting on. The results and so much more when love is on the air continues. We'll be right back. Don't you go anywhere. Go you voted on the top five movie kisses and the results are in. Are you ready for the number one movie kiss? Well, it's Lady and the Tramp. That movie's so cute. Yeah. And the scene that everybody voted for with the noodle and tea. Never seen it. Oh my gosh. Never seen it. Okay. That's no, what you're going to be no, doing for no, Valentine's no, Day. No. Watching Lady Welcome the back to Love is on the Air. <laughs> I'm Jeff. This is Charity. Now, listen, I know we've talked about me being married for like, I'm about, about 20 years uh -huh. in, approximately, approximately 20. What uh, is an approximate? Approximate is when you're not exact. No. You're around about. So 19 and some change? 19 and change. Let's call it approximately. So you're kind of an expert. Is that yeah, what you're I, I think what I'm even getting at here is yes, okay. I am an expert. And uh, that, I know a little at, something about love. Mm -mm. Well, your wife would tell me differently. Uh, she disagrees. I asked her myself. Mm. So we're going to talk to an actual matchmaking love expert because joining us now from Bravo's Love Match Atlanta, please welcome Ming Clark. Hi. Hey, girl. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Uh, I think we've established here that I am a love expert myself, but... No, that's why you're here. Well, he does have experience, well, I, 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 and that I, I, does count. Yeah. <laughs> well, since she's here, she's made the trip, I say, you know, we, we get a little extra. But uh, how did you become a matchmaker? Uh, out of my own need. I actually was in a relationship, and we broke up, and I wanted to meet people outside of my circle. So I went to a matchmaking company, and I told them what I was looking for in a match, and they gave me the total opposite. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Did you get your money back? Girl? I did not get my money I back. I would be like, I need a <laughs> refund. I did not, but actually I started my own company back in 2010. I've been successful, so you know what? Everything yeah. happens for a reason, right? Yeah. yeah, so that's how I got into matchmaking. Now, I mean, with Valentine's Day just around the corner, there's a lot of folks who will be using the L word. Yeah. Larry. Uh, no, silly, love, <laughs> love 20 years over here. <laughs> So what should we know about our partners before we say, I love you? I think it's important, uh, number five, I would say to be in a healthy place, okay, okay. yourself. 
uh, meaning that we all have traumas and we have baggage. We want to make sure we work through all those things before we say, I love you to anyone else, because we want to be whole when we say it. No, he, he's taking notes over here. Are you taking notes? For a friend. I've established that for a friend. It's but that's true. Like, people need to go to therapy yes. and, like, heal their traumas yes. so they're not bringing baggage into the relationship, exactly. right? Exactly. And, and really recognize what love is, you know? Uh -huh. So that's very important to work on yourself and self-love. Okay, and number four? Number four is, does that person deserve my heart? Mm. Ah, Can I actually a, trust this one. person with my heart? That they're gonna look out for my best interests, that they're gonna protect me, uh, that they're gonna be there for me. But how do you actually know that? Because sometimes people, you know, they present that way and then the mask comes off and you're like, ta-da. The only thing is time. Okay, Yeah. so you gotta trust the process. You gotta trust the process, All right. Yes. What about number three? <laughs> And number three is, who is this person that I'm in love with? Ah. Who are you? Where did you come from? What is your family like? What is your background? Where have you traveled? Do you have any warrants? <laughs> Wow. Now, that's a good one, what girl. is your credit like? You know, <laughs> any medical problems? You know, you have yeah. your children in another country. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want to know all these things before you profess your love to someone. That's yeah. really important. Right, how about number two? <laughs> number two. Can this person love me the way that I need to be loved? Because you know we all have a love language. Mine is touch. Which I love to be hugged and rubbed, and you can yeah. get away with a lot if you rub my back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say mine's You're quality like, time. Rub, 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 rub my, I love those shoe shoes. Shoe cam, shoe cam. Wow. Like I love my shoes. <laughs> I'm gonna say mine's quality time. Yours yeah. quality, quality time. time. QT. Wait, Jeff, who said I love you first? You or your wife? Ooh, that's a good one. It's been so long, as I mentioned, 20 years. You better say I love you every uh, I, I day think, now. I think it was me. I think so. Yeah. I think, yeah. Think we were both you? pretty much on the same page right from the get-go. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. How did you know, though, that you were in love and she just, was the it, one? You just, I don't know, for me, it was just I felt it. You know, I, we always wanted to be around each other. And I was, you know, like, hey, this is a person I want to spend the rest of my life with. How long did it take for you to realize that that was the person that you loved? Man, I don't know. I, maybe, like... <laughs> I don't know, maybe three months? Three I don't months know. I, it's, it's been a while. I just, you know. Yeah. I have kids now. I don't remember anything. <laughs> I don't remember anything from before Wait, they were years born. Later, right? so how about the number one thing? Um, no, don't tell us. We're going to have to hit that when You're we come gonna back. You're going to tell us that when you come back. That's the number one piece of advice you need to know. <laughs> Ming is going to tell us about it and a exactly. whole lot more when we come back after this. I think I got a new co-host. You put you on the Yeah, hunt. seriously. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Charity Bailey, and uh, this is... Love is on the air, and I'm going to be Jeff. <laughs> not Larry. Not, not Larry. Okay. That's a whole different show. Also, <laughs> we have our matchmaker here, Mean Clark. And um, I'm wanting to know, girl, what is the number one thing you should know about your partner before you say, I love you? You know what? Is it true love? Or is it infatuation? Mm. Unless. And I love that because we were just talking about that before we cut to mm -hmm. break. And we, I asked him, how long How long was it before you knew that this was the one? And you said like three months. Well, you know, the infatuation stage can go anywhere from one month to six months to a year. OK. Mm. And then I feel like infatuation is temporary. But true love stands the test of time. And true love is like, I am going to love you even when everything is not perfect even when you're getting on my last nerve, even if you have one leg, I'm, I'm going to love you forever. Yeah. And that's true love versus infatuation. So if you're not willing to push that person around a wheelchair, if they leave that, if they lose their leg, it's true. <laughs> it's Especially not true if love. you're on your last leg and they lose a leg, <laughs> you've exactly. four down to two. It's, it's gonna get exactly. dicey. No, I mean, people, they, they, they lose the shape. I mean, they lose teeth. I mean, they get sick. But I'm saying to you that I'm willing to love you forever, regardless. And to me, that's true love. And infatuation is temporary. Yeah. It goes up and down. It's based on whether you can make me feel good at that time. Mm -hmm. Well, it's for better or for worse. Yeah. Uh, well, we do have some questions from our online okay. users, social media, if okay. you will. OK. Uh, you want to go first? I do. I do. I have my own question, but I'll go with <laughs> okay. uh, at Paul from Canada. Okay. At Paul from Canada asks, how do I know if I'm in love? Well, again, uh, I think that when you're in love, it stands the test of time. It's not something that you're going to know right now. Somebody can love you. I can love my, love my shoes. But to be in love is the long term. It's like after you've gone through some things and you say, hey, I really am in love with this person. I don't care what it takes, what they go through. I'm still going to be here. That's in love. 
All right, our next viewer asks, can you fall in love at first sight? You know, there's attraction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, you can fall in love with what you see at first sight, uh, but do you really know the person deeply and intimately? And I think that's when you know that you truly love them. Okay. So yeah, you can fall in love with the way someone looks. Well, uh, we've been talking about social media. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, there was take my some, question. I <laughs> there was some things that have gone viral, and one of the questions was, should a woman give back the ring if they break up? I think it depends on why they broke up. If you okay. gave me a oh, ring okay. and you cheated on me, you're not getting the ring back. I said the same thing. No, yeah. You didn't. I said, yes, I did. <laughs> I said Listen. that. Listen. No, okay, go ahead. Uh, if it's uh, we come to our understanding and say, hey, I don't think this is going to work and it's mutual, then I would give the ring back. But if you cheated, no way. Nope. I earned that ring. It's mine. Yeah. Mm. Forget what about if, it. What if there's a, a cheating situation, but the ring has a, a lot of family sentimental value? Oh. Well, you shouldn't have cheated, and you wouldn't Ooh. have gotten that ring taken. All right. So, so, <laughs> so you're saying that. keep it no matter what. Che cheating is is the or give me the cash. Right. Give me the Listen, cash. Run me the money, honey. <laughs> <laughs> there are penalties, penalties, sure. right, for everything Absolutely. you do. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, so here's a question. Uh, w before I got married, it was one of these things that online dating wasn't as prevalent. It's like mm -hmm. if you yeah. met someone that was online, you're like, whoa, yeah. how's that going to work out? Now I feel like it's the other way around. If you've met someone in a normal mm -hmm. scenario, mm -hmm. whether it was going out, do you feel that that in today's day or is it still 50-50? Um, I think online dating is big, mm -hmm. but you, you're still not interacting with the person. Sure. Um, I have matched people together and their pictures don't do justice. Catfishing, Yeah, girl. they do a lot of catfishing. I had a lot of my clients say, she doesn't look like it, she didn't look like herself when I met her. But I feel like you can't tell, you can't feel a person's spirit or mm -hmm. a smile or it's just something about the twinkle in that eye, you know, that captivates you. So I feel like it's still best to meet in person, you know, yeah. for me. And that's why I'm here. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're here. Yeah. And thank you so much. Those date naps are trash since okay, I might be I'm calling you myself. Because I don't, I don't have it in me for any of this. Yeah, well, you know any what? Of That's what I do. I make sure I go through all that and I make sure I pick the best ones for you. All right. Thank you so much for coming by. Yes. I appreciate you're your You're welcome. And all of you stay with us. We'll be right back. Where did the word whooping even come from? Oh, well, they wanted me to say make love. And I wouldn't do it because I didn't think you should have to explain that to your children until you were ready to do so. So Frank Sinatra had a hit record at the time called Making Whoopi. And I said, okay, I'll say Whoopi. And Whoopi became a four letter word. <laughs> well, now you know where the word whoopee came from. We're making whoopee. We can all sleep better tonight. You're welcome, America. <laughs> That's all the time we have here for Love is on the Air. We had a great time today. Big thanks to all our guests, Will and Tina. Congratulations. Send us pictures from the cruise. <laughs> <laughs> and to our friends at Daniel Stone Botanical Gardens, Star Vista Live, and of course, Bob Eubanks, Morgan and Jeremy, Greg and Brandy, and Miss Mean Clark, the owner of Colorblind International. And finally, a special thanks to Confetti Castle and Alpha Lit Alpha Charlotte. <laughs> and most importantly, all of you lovebirds, thanks for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs>